So what we're gonna do is solve this worm problem. So if a superhero flies 235 meters up the hypotenuse of our right triangle building, the horizontal displacement is 212.98 meters. The distance of the superhero traveled 235 meters above the hypotenuse. What was the pitch angle? So he has to somehow fly in a certain amount of degrees. That's what we're trying to do. But before we do that, we need to know what Sokotoa is. So let's get started. So we have a right triangle here. That 90 degree angle right there and that marked angle right there. Also known as theta, one of the Greek letters. So the first one is going to be sine, which represents the letter S. Sine is going to represent the relation between the opposite, divide that by your hypotenuse. Going back from 8th grade or ninth grade, you probably may have learned this, but your formula for your hypotenuse of a right triangle is a squared plus b squared equals your c squared also known as the Pythagoras Theorem, or the Pythagorean Theorem. Who knows what is called that or that? Oh well. So we already know that the sine is the relationships of the opposite and the hypotenuse of a triangle. The cosine represents the letter C. We're going to write the cosine right there. Instead of opposite divided by hypotenuse, the cosine is adjacent divided by hypotenuse. So we're going to put A divided by H. The relationship between the adjacent and the hypotenuse. The T is going to represent the tangent, which is one of my favorites. So the tangent is going to be the opposite divided by the adjacent. So O divided by A. But hang on. If we understand all these things, but where do the letters go? Where does O, H, and A go? Well, we already know that from the Pythagorean Theorem, we know that the longest line of a triangle, or the longest segment of a triangle, is going to be the hypotenuse, or the letter H. The adjacent is going to be touching the angle to the hypotenuse, but also to the 90 degree angle, which creates a 90 degree triangle, or a right triangle. So this right here is going to be your adjacent, because it touches 90 and the angle going to your hypotenuse. That's marked. Your opposite is going to be directly opposite from the hypotenuse. The opposite is only going to touch the 90 degree angle and also an angle that is not marked, or the angle that the assignment doesn't tell us to find. Now I think if we know this and understand this, then we can go directly and solve the problem out. So here's what happens. A superhero flies 235 meters up the hypotenuse of a right triangle building. So let's say that this is the triangle building. Nope. 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 Let's say that this is the triangle building right here. We know that the superhero flies up the building at 235 meters like this. The horizontal displacement, if he was here, if he was there, and went all the way to the origin in a straight line, this is his displacement. That would be 212.98 meters. The problem is, we have to understand what was his pitch angle from the ground to the hypotenuse. So we're trying to find out what theta is. Theta represents the amount of degrees in any kind of triangle. So what we have to do is use a calculator out. Let's clear it, but the issue is the way that the formula is set up and the way that things are set up too. 
if we think about the work, and if we think about how the work is done, it's get very, very confusing. So, what do we have here? We have the hypotenuse and the adjacent. What of the three things can we use, or what other three relationships of lines can we use to figure it all out? What has a hypotenuse and an adjacent? Yes, the cosine has one. So what we're going to do is right over here. So, the cosine of x, the cosine of x is going to equal 212.98 divided by 235. Huh? This makes no sense. How can we solve it if we don't know what x is? Well, instead of solving it this way and getting stuck, this is where the calculator comes in. What we have to do is try to reverse the idea of what we're trying to do. So instead of the cosine of x, why can't we say the cosine of negative 1 is going to equal 212.98 divide that by 235. Let's see what happens. So on a calculator, you normally repress the word cosine to find the length of any right triangle. But the issue is, so if you want to reverse all that, we have to do the second cosine. So the cosine to the negative one's power. And that's going to eat weight. Oh, we can't press the equal sign. We have to do 212 point, wait, yeah, 212.98. And we have to divide that by 235. And we get an answer of 25 degrees. So if we do the second of negative 1 of cosine equals this, but don't type the equal sign into a calculator, you get 25 degrees. So the superhero pointed up 25 degrees and flew up towards the sky. So theta, or our missing angle, is 25 degrees! That is how we solve this problem. And that is how we understand trigonometry in physics. The only thing that changed, or the only difference with math and physics, is the way the question was reformatted. So I hope this video has helped you understand trigonometry and physics. Thank you for watching Tapping Your Life's Math Industry. Like and subscribe.